Look, Anne, thank you so much for offering to share some of your wisdom. First of all, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you do and the sort of clients you serve? Yeah. Cool beans. Cool beans. I say, <laughs> I say that all that the time. That happens all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, my business is focused around helping people with knowledge package it and sell it online. That's simple. That's really how it how how we simplify it. You could say it's coaches, it's trainers, it's authors, it's mentors, people who have frameworks of um, content or a process that they will help somebody to get from a problem to where they want to get to. So they solve problems and challenges and help people to achieve the goals and aspirations they've got. So I've got a couple of different ways in which I do that. I've got some online training and nine week online training. I've worked with people on a private client basis to coach them through that. And then I've got a team that do all the implementation around all of the marketing and tech as well. So, so there's a lot of similarities with what you do because I work with very much similar uh, set of people and, and, and skills, but my obviously skill set is video helping using video. So I, I'd like to ask you your opinion of video as a medium for these people that you work with. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? What you, should, you know, what's your opinion of people using video? It's a must. Um, people cannot ignore the use of video for their expert type business. Now, whether you're a cake decorator and you want to teach people how to decorate cakes, whether you're a hairdresser and even in the current COVID climate, you, you know, your hairdressing salon is currently closed. You could still utilize online video to teach people hair techniques, um, putting up your hair and all that kind of stuff. If you're a mechanic, yeah, it's a very hands-on kind of business, but you could utilize video to be able to show people how to do like a 15-point winter okay. check on your vehicle, right through to coaches, life coaches, business coaches. The reality is video is the most consumed type of medium online. Mm -hmm. And we have this big box in the front of our living rooms or our lounges as well that is a video player that is called the TV. And smart TVs now have access to stuff like YouTube and yeah stuff like that. So you can access video that people create and content creators, even now on the TVs, in our lounge, on our mobile devices, it is the most consumed. But if you're ignoring video right now, you're probably leaving, you're leaving money on the table. Well, what I'm saying is you're, you're not visible and at some point you will disappear. That's my yeah. opinion. So I, I totally agree because other people will get ahead of you. Absolutely. But the thing is, you know, people say to me, and I've heard you say that as well, because you're very good at speaking in front of camera. And they say, Neil, how come you're so good at talking on video? You don't seem to be nervous. I'll be honest, I used to be. I didn't want to put myself out there on camera. But, you know, what is it about trying to engage and be authentic from your point of view? For me, you've got to you've got to really understand your calling to be in the space to serve someone. That's the first thing. Once you know who it is you want to serve and how you want to serve them, then creating content will become a breeze because you're not having to consistently try to think about things all the time. When you speak freely, like we are now, unscripted, and you're speaking from your mind, from your brain, your brain sometimes will slow your speech down and you'll end up going, um, um, uh, um, yeah, whatever. When you speak from stuff that you know and that you truly believe, yep. it becomes so much easier and flowing to be able to speak because it's purely natural, whereas your brain has to try and compute it to create it maybe more logically yeah. and then it slows it down. I totally agree with it. I mean, we decided to do this interview about two minutes before we started doing it. And I didn't even write questions down. And have I said an um other than saying um when I'm demonstrating the word um? <laughs> and have you? No. no. And this is the thing. When you're passionate about what you do, when you know your stuff and you truly then believe it, it's like the penny has dropped from here to here, from here to your heart. And then when you speak from your heart, when you speak from true belief, when you speak from the, the position of the values that you stand on, it becomes so natural and easy for you to be able to speak and producing videos in one take becomes so much easier. Yes, you might need little crib sheets or something, you know, create a little bit of a post-it note yeah, a, a couple of bullets on. Like that, yeah. But speaking without a script, 
becomes so much easier when you speak from your heart rather than your head. I mean, for me, I, I say know your first line, know your call to action at the end and have a very a kind of idea in the middle of where you're going to go. So you've got your beginning, you've got your end and how you get there. It doesn't really matter because it's coming from here, as you said. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think for me, practice makes perfect as well. Mm -hmm. It's like um, learning to ride a bike. You absolutely. can't learn to ride a bike by reading about it. You have to get on it and do it. And yeah. um, you know, and and that's what my my video academy is all about. It's about giving people the opportunity to get on that bike or step in front of that camera and practice and practice and practice. Not publicly, but in front of a a, a group of other people. I put an ER in there. I'm thinking, <laughs> about it. but then I'm honest. People make mistakes, and do you know what? it's because we're human we make mistakes and that's what happens you make a mistake in one of your practices and you think okay next time it's a little bit better and the next one time of the one of the better. tricks i learned fairly early on in terms of trying to help with this is also to breathe instead of having to go um um, um just take a second breathe and then speak rather than having to go um, um, because sometimes that can actually just be very natural in terms of somebody watching the video as well. It's also extremely engaging. I remember watching a comedian. I mean, I love comedy and this guy called Joshua Robertson who has cerebral palsy. So he talks really, really slowly. And what happens? People lean forward and listen. And when you do that, it draws people in. If you're at them, bang, 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 bang. All someone can do is kind of lean back and think, oh. So, yeah. You don't have to always speak like a chihuahua who's drunk 10 bottles of Coke, you know, <laughs> fundamentally, and it was all on a sugar rush. Because I see so many people trying to do their lives or do their videos, and they just try and cram everything in. I speak at a million miles an hour at the best of times, uh -huh. but slowing your pace down will help massively. Well, I'll tell you what, Anne, I really appreciate your time. Um, I must say, Mr. Hodges has helped me enormously with my content and building my pages and my programs. So I really appreciate that. If you're a Kajabi, thinking about doing Kajabi and you want to learn more, he's the guy to talk to. Um, so have a chat with me and I'll pass details over. And obviously, if you want to jump onto my academy and learn more about what I'm doing, have a chat with me. Ant, it's been, it's been Thanks, really Neil. <laughs> I appreciate it. Cheers, Speak to you soon. Bye. Okay. Bye, -bye.